So now it's time for us to take a look at somewhat of a troubled tale, somewhat of an iPhone that I used to love so much that I actually ended up not liking anymore. I talk a lot about the iPhone XR where I used to hate that phone. And I think a lot of people hated that phone, but then over time as price drops ended up happening, that iPhone ended up becoming a way better deal. But this iPhone isn't even an iPhone in general, it's an iPhone lineup. And this is the SE lineup. In my opinion, Apple completely has butchered this lineup and up until this point, I'm not a fan of it at all. You know, I think the way Apple has approached this lineup right now, they've completely ruined it. And I think when the first iPhone SE came out, and this is something Apple does all the time, they release a product that's really, really good. And then slowly they iter like they just keep making these iterations and they just keep ruining it. And then they probably make some really big upgrade. And to cl you know, classic point, you know, the standard iPhones right now, we have like two different sets. I mean, they put the older chips in the older one and the newer one, the newer one, the pros, like I don't really like that. They also did this with the MacBooks. They ended up making a really great product. They butchered it 2016 onwards to like 2020. And now they've successfully brought it back in my opinion. But with the iPhone SE lineup, we are still in that area where they've kind of butchered it. And I think until the iPhone SE 4 comes out, we're going to be in this really weird state. So for one, when the original iPhone SE came out, that was a decent design iPhone with newer internals. Even the camera wasn't as good as a success at the time, but it was still a pretty good priced phone for what you were getting, which was really, really cool. And that iPhone, you know, stood the test of time. And even up until like right now when I was 15, I've been having a more stable experience on my iPhone SE first generation than even like my iPhone 7 and especially my iPhone success. So that iPhone SE held up, has held up better. All of my iPhone SEs, my iPhone SE 1 that I've owned like 5 of right now, those have done a better job of handling the latest version of software than the iPhone 6S and 7, which were supposed to be cheaper models of it. But then this takes us to the iPhone SE 2. This iPhone, which came out in 2020, I was kind of happy about it when it first came out, but then shortly after we ended up getting it in our hands and testing it, it really did take a toll on the body more so than the internals. And I started seeing how important the things are like the gesture based design, the multiple camera setups, and then, you know, the $400 price tag that this thing was selling for really didn't seem that appealing, especially when you looked at other phone manufacturers and their budget phones, but also phones in the used market. But now when you look at the iPhone SE 3 that is being sold that just came out earlier this year, yes, it has the Apple A15 Bionic chip inside, and yes, it has more RAM, but that thing is not a good priced iPhone at all. For $429, you can do a lot more in the used market than you can for the iPhone SE 4. And in my opinion, the iPhone 13s in the 13 mini could end up being a better phone than the SE you know, 4, 3. But the thing is, is that the 13 mini is probably going to end up going down in the used market at a faster rate. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's like less than $500 right now, but it's probably going to end up being less than $500 probably the next year. And then why would people end up buying the you know, SE 3 when you can buy a 13 mini at that point? So in my opinion, I think Apple's completely kind of ruined the iPhone SE lineup. And hopefully the rumors are true. The next iPhone SE 4 bringing a gesture based design, I think that would be really important. But I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, I also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.